another raw video from your favorite YouTube scout, Draft Raw Authentic. Yes, I'm finally here with another video, and like I said, it's a raw one, so there will be no edits. Anyway, this video is the offensive positional draft preview. Now, in this offensive positional draft preview, I will be basically previewing the offensive positions of this year's 2018 NFL Draft. Now, in doing that, I will give a brief summary of each position, then give an overall grade of each position, and then I will name players that I feel will be the safest pick, the biggest bust, and the hidden gems for each position. So without further ado, let's just get into it. The quarterbacks. Obviously, I have to start with the quarterbacks. So with the quarterback position, I feel as though this is probably the best offensive position in this year's draft is actually the quarterbacks. I feel from top to mid to bottom, it has so much talent. Just so much talent. And honestly, if I was to give it an overall grade, I would give it an A+. I feel as though this year's quarterbacks class is as good as the 2012's quarterback class. And actually, not just as good as, I think it's better. I think in 2012, it was very top-heavy, which in within the first three rounds, you were going to find a, a pretty good quarterback or a pretty good talent at quarterback. And then... At the last half of that draft, it wasn't really that much. But I feel as though in this year, you can find a good quarterback or a solid quarterback within the whole draft. So look out for that. But anyway, if I was to say who would be the safest pick at this position, I would say it would be Sam Darnold from USC. If I was to name a bust... I would say Josh Allen from Wyoming. And if I was to name a hidden gem, I actually would say two different players. Kurt Benkert from Virginia and Logan Woodside from Toledo. Now, naming these players, if you don't know who these guys are, please check out my top quarterback uh, video that I made a couple of weeks ago and then you will get a perspective of who these players are and also to put this out there because I've already talked about a lot of these players I will not be giving a brief summary of why I think these players are a safe pick a bus or hit gem I'm just gonna go through the list and you can just retract going back to where I did these each of these positions and I talked about a lot of these players that I'm going to name today so if you want to know about Sam Darnold, Josh Allen, or the two hidden gems that I named, Kurt Benkert, Logan Woodside, please check out my quarterbacks video. There's two of them. And if you want to know about any other player at any of these positions, please check out those videos. Whether it's the running back, the wide receiver, whatever tight end, please check out those videos. And then you will get an actual better summary of who these guys are. Next, let's just go into the running backs. This running back class is one of the best running back classes that I've seen in a while. Um, I haven't seen a, as good of a class like this since 2008, which there was a lot of names in that class when you really think about who came out of that. Matt Forte, Ray Rice, Jamal Charles, just to name a few. But that class, even though it may not have an actual like Hall of Fame guy, it had running backs that had really good years. And I think that this class compares to that class. So in looking at this class and the overall grade, I will give this an A minus. It's a pretty good grade. And looking at this position, who I think is probably the safest pick, Nick Chubb from Georgia. Who do I think is the biggest bust? Saquon Barkley from Penn State. And who do I think is the hidden gem? John Kelly from Tennessee. Now moving on to the next position. That's the wide receiver position. Now in the summary for this position, 
I believe that a lot of people are down on this receiver class because there's not that top guy per se. There's not that guy that's like a the six three that runs in the four fours that catches everything and is a pretty solid route runner and is just a dangerous weapon. Every year you usually have some type of guy that's like that. The guy that has that size. You know, if I can look back at uh last year with the Mike Williams and Corey Davis were the top two guys. Um the year before that it didn't go as you know, wasn't as big as the other years. But then the year before that, you had the Amari Cooper and the Kevin White that went in the top 10. Those were the, the consensus top guys. And the Devontae Parker. But with this year's class, it doesn't seem like it's very, you know, that top guy. But what's what I love about this class is I feel as though in the middle rounds, you're going to get a lot of good receivers. In the top rounds, though, if you're talking about the first round, the guys that could go in the first round, I think, are just as good as the guys that are going to go in the middle rounds. So with that being said, I give the overall grade for this class a B plus. I think it's better than what people give it credit for, but also I don't think it's as good as a lot of the other positions in this year's draft. And if I was to say who is the safest pick, I would say Calvin Ridley. Who would be the biggest bust? Kevin Ridley from Alabama, sorry. Who would be the biggest bust? Jordan Lashley from UCLA and Deion Kane from Clemson. And who do I think is the hidden gem? I think Corey Robertson from Southern Miss. Now going to the next position, the tight end position. This tight end class is kind of top heavy and there's not a lot of middle or end ground to it. Not like last year's class where it was spread out through through the draft. Where you was going to find a pretty solid player. This is more of a top heavy draft. So it was hard trying to find a hidden gem. But if I was to give a grade for this overall tight end class, I would give it a C+. It's pretty average to me because it's not spread throughout. But there is some, you know, some talent, talent at the top. Not as good as last year, but still pretty solid. And who I think will be the safest pick out of all of them? Troy Fumagalli. Who I think will be the biggest bust? Troy Fumagalli from Wisconsin, sorry. Who I think will be the biggest bust? Mark Andrews from Oklahoma. And who do I think will be the hidden gem? Chris Herndon from Miami. Now going into the next position will be the offensive tackle position. And when I think about this tackle position, it is not that great i think that there's about maybe six or seven tackles that are pretty solid but i don't think none of these guys are going to be top tackles in the league maybe one guy could be um but i don't think really none of them are going to be huge big time tackles and looking at last year's class this class is better than last year's class but it's still not that great if i was to take a think about the year before class i think that that class will blow this class out of the water but anyway, just to get into it, if I was to give an overall grade for this position, I would give it a C-. minus. It's Tackles are going to get pushed up a little bit higher because there is an important position, but I don't think that there's any like perennial pro bowling or Hall of Fame type of tackle in this draft class. Or even a guy that's just pr- like really, really, really good. I just think that there's just average tackles that are going to be middle of the pack. And if I was to say who would be the safest pick of this position, I would say Mike McGlinchey from Notre Dame. Who would be the biggest bust? I would say Chuck Chuck (laughs) Wuma Oko Rafor. I'm sorry, it's hard to say his name, but uh, he plays for Western Michigan. And who I say would be the hidden gem of this class, I would say Joseph Noteboom from TCU. Now moving to the... The next position will be the offensive guard position. I think that this position is one of the better positions of the of definitely the offensive line. Um, I think that there you have your top guys, you have your middle round guys. I don't think there's late round guys that are going to be pretty good. I think that most of the, with with that part, you would probably look at some offensive tackles and turn them into guards that may go late round, and that's how this class could be better than what it is. But just 
just from pure guard aspect, um, this this class I think is just top and middle. So I gave it a B plus. Now, who do I think will be the safest pick of this draft? I say Quentin Nelson from Notre Dame. Who I think will be the biggest bust? I say Braden Smith from Auburn. And who do I think will be the hidden gem? I think Brendan Mahone from Penn State. Now, going into the next position after that will be the center position. And this is the last position of the offense. Now, with this position, I actually think it's a lot more spread out than the other two offensive positions. I think you could find a the top guy. I don't know if you should pick one of the centers in the first round. You usually don't. I don't think there is one. But I think in the middle and late rounds, you got a lot of talent. And if I was to give an overall grade for this position, I would give it an A. I think that, yeah, there's not a top guy in terms of a first round guy, but second, third, and all the way down, you have some really good players that can make some hayway in in this NFL. And actually, the person that I have a bust in this position may actually be better than what I'm actually giving them credit for. But anyway, the safest position that I feel as though, I mean, the safest player in this position is Frank Ragnow from Arkansas. The biggest bust, I think, would be James Daniels from Iowa. And then lastly, the hidden gem for this position will be Brian Allen from Michigan State. Now, like I said, I just went through the offense positions. If you want to learn more about these guys, please check out the videos that I have made weeks ago earlier about each and every one of these positions. And uh, I will please, you know, if you like this video, please subscribe. Please share this video so other people can see it. Please comment so... I can know how you feel if you didn't like what I had to say. And sharing this video, you can have other people join in on the comments and we can have a debate. And please hit that like button. Once again, this is Draft Raw Authentic. Next video coming out will be the defensive positional draft preview. Thank you and goodbye.